Capwing tutorial for beginners how to get started with Capwing. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we start using this online video editing software to create our videos. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these steps I do to not make any mistakes. So Capwing is an online video editor which provides us a lot of different opportunities as you can see. To get started you need to visit capwing.com and here we are on this page. We helps us to create different videos in an easy way. So click on get started to start our working with Capwing. Continue with Google, continue with Facebook or we can simply create a new account. I'll continue with Google, so just choose one of my Google accounts here, so it will be pretty easy. Uh, I'm using Capping primarily for work, let it be like work. What kind of job do you do? We can choose like any part of from here. Let it be like media production, what brings you to Capping? I want to learn how to edit videos and what kind of content do you plan to make? Let it be like I creating videos from scratch. So let's click on continue. How did you hear about us? From YouTube, of course. So let's continue. Uh, we can uh, simply create our workspace from here we, so we can name it. Let it be like helper and uh, set your workspace icons if you need. You can just simply uh, you know upload or choose it from here so i'll just simply choose click on next we can add our members if we have our team from here i'll just click on next because i'm working as solo and as you can see uh, we have like help a helper to assess all pro features on capkin we have like um, we have paid versions for $16 or $24, so you can choose any of them or just close this feature to continue editing for free. Uh, basically, we have some opportunities here, uh, but if you are interested in working with Capping, you can of course just click and buy the paid plan. So here we are on our workspace. In the left side, we have our members folder, brand kit and settings. Team folders here, from here we can create our new project and in the right side, in the right top, we have like invite members option, our account option here and simply upload option and settings. So in order to create a new project, we need to click on this button basically. We'll go to our, you know, uh, video editor, online video editor. In the left side, we have media, layers, text subtitles, videos, images, elements, audio, transitions, templates, plugins, record and so on. In order to get started we need to import our media of course. We need to go to media folder and then just click on add media. So from here we can simply add our videos we want to add to our project. I just simply need to use two of this one. So it may take a little time to upload them because you know it's like depends on your internet speed. So after that we need to choose our resolution, our like size, like um, for YouTube it's 16 to 9, for Instagram for example 1 to 1, Instagram post 4 to 5 or TikTok or Instagram story or maybe YouTube shorts 9 to 16. So let's create simple YouTube video, uh, it may look like this. So uh, in order to add our videos on our like timeline or out to, to our player, we simply need to drag and drop it right up here. So after that, the timeline will appear. And uh, now in the bottom of the screen, we have our timeline we can interact with, we can just change the size, zoom in, zoom out and deal with all of our videos. So I'll just add two videos here. If you'll choose any single video in the right side, we have a uh, like menu to interact with it. We can like trim, crop, filter, adjust, we can zoom, we can just change the corners, we can change the volume or do some other stuff. We can also like uh, rotate, change speed, change outline, change layers and so on. We have uh, some effects area here, transitions of course and timing. So basically let's for example try to add some fast edits here. So firstly I'd like to trim. I'd like to change the uh, start point and the end point. So we can simply click on it and then just, you know, click for our corners and move to the necessary position. 
after all we can just click on trim and basically everything is ready but now we need to fill the gap so move our videos to like to the end of the first one so after that i'd like also to crop change it like this and then just click on enter so now we need to resize it to fill the gaps to make it like fulfill the picture also i'd like to add some effects so i'll just basically i want to add some filters click on edit go to filters here and find some filters which are suitable for example this one looks really cinematic so i'll just click on apply filter and after that it will be applied to my video um, also i'd like to zoom in for a little and add some effects for example background blur or no no i won't add background blur also i add some transitions for example fade in and also like uh, fade out let it be like this so now let's add some text so go to text area add some text and move it basically click on it and it will be successfully added to our timeline as you can see we can change the duration and simply if we'll click on it on our player we can change what do we need to write let it be like nature here in the right side we also have like a different parameters we can change the font size make it bold or italic we can change text color text outline text background and so on there are a lot of features a lot, a lot of settings we can change so basically i suggest you to basically try it by yourself we can also animate it make it like flicker basically i'd like to choose none add some effects timing and so on as you can see we have like a lot of different text templates here so you can choose what do you like to use for example this one is pretty good so simply all we need to do is just to try it by ourselves. Also, we can add like auto subtitles in subtitles area or we can upload them or manual. There are a lot of features. We can add some video from stocks and so on. We can add some images. Basically, it's pretty easy. Also like elements, like emojis, shapes, progress bar. What is basically, I think, you know, it's pretty good that they have this option here and also like audio they have like huge audio library when everything is done all we need to do is just to click on export project and then just choose the necessary format format mp4 the resolution the highest which is possible for free for the other you need to pay for example you know 16 or 24 dollars per month and then just click on export as mp4 it may take a little time and after that, it will be uploaded to your computer. And basically, this is a way of how can we deal with capping. Hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.